passing out ceremony rolled into one. It made me nervous watching what's probably the most important day of her life. And you weren't nervous? Oh yes, yes, very <laughs> nervous because I think, well, if I, if I fail or if I, right, no. I, I cannot say very loud or yeah, something yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Right. <laughs> Each generation hands down the knowledge of the past to the next, providing a bridge to Europe's Muslim heritage. In medicina, in astronomy, El, eh, es decir, todo, en agricultura uh -huh. y los mozárabes fueron los que transmitieron a Europa en Toledo, en la escuela de the traductores school, de Toledo. Uh -huh. claro, exactamente. ¿Díselo? <laughs> well, we cannot uh, forget that the oriental culture was uh, the most uh, advanced in their in their time in agriculture in, in, yes, astronomy in, uh, medicine many different, yes many everything different and the uh, mozarab uh, uh, keep this tradition and give it to europe when toledo the jewel of al andalus fell without bloodshed in 1085 it emboldened the christians pope urban ii announced a crusade against all of islam 10 years later islam responded and sent troops from North Africa to support the Muslims of Spain. Over the next 150 years, the Christians of northern Spain pushed into southern Al-Andalus. They battled with the Muslim troops sent by the Almohads of North Africa. But the troops were overstretched. They lost the support of the Muslims they had come to help, and the leadership started to crumble. By the 13th century, the Muslims were fighting each other, while the Christians advanced ever closer towards my next destination, the province of Granada. Muslim achievement in Al-Andalus had made their territories highly prized, and none more so than Granada, under the rule of Muhammad ben Nasser. But the 13th century marked the great leap forward for Spanish Christendom, and the chief beneficiary was the Christian ruler Ferdinand III of Aragon. The Christian kings of Castile and Aragon could not believe their luck. They were able to exploit the collapse of the Muslim Almohad Empire in Al-Andalus. One after the other, they were able to take Cordoba, Valencia and Murcia. The Muslims were determined to keep a hold of something. And so Muhammad ben Nasser, who was a small-time lord from the south, was able to strike a surprising deal. In exchange for helping Ferdinand III take Muslim Seville, he got to keep Granada. Dr. Emira Benison, who I'd met in Cordoba, had recently arrived in Granada. Her research covers this period of political intrigue in Al-Andalus. Muhammad ben Nasser agreed to become vassal of Ferdinand III and actually helped him at the siege of Seville in 1248. But again, I think from Mohammed bin Nasser's point of view, it was ultimately indefensible. And it was better to preserve this piece of land here for the Muslims of the peninsula than to try and hold on to things right. which were, were going to ultimately be impossible to defend. And we're standing just across this valley from the Alhambra, which, mm -hmm. given its obvious position, is a sort of defensive building. Yes. Yes, I mean, it seems so, but then gradually the more luxurious palatial elements were added. I mean, Granada was moving into the peak of its prosperity. By that time, the Granadans had found a solution to their two key problems, high population and relatively unfertile soil. I mean, this is a very beautiful landscape, but it's quite hard to cultivate. Yeah. But they'd gone for labor-intensive crops. They had mulberry trees in the Sierra Nevada producing silk. You had the Vega down here producing dried fruits, which were exported. Uh, in return, the Granadans were able to import wheat and also to use the revenue to construct beautiful palaces like the Alhambra. So it was a clear calculation of self-preservation and self-interest to a certain extent. Well, I think you can see it in those terms, but I think you have to see it much more as an attempt by Muslims who were flooding into this part of the peninsula to maintain Islam here. Right. It's the most homogenous of the Muslim